Welcome to the SPED Forms Educator Guide for the 2020 version. You have chosen Creating Your Team Member List. By entering the names and contact information of colleagues that you work with often into your personal team member list, you can quickly and easily add them into important forms like the IEP, IFSP, and Notice of a Team Meeting. If it is not your default landing page, navigate to your student list. Click on the Your Setup icon. Select Team Member List from the Your Setup menu. You are now able to efficiently add an unlimited number of colleagues to your personal team member list using one of two data entry methods. Method one, click the person icon in the top row of the data entry field within a single team member section. You will be directed to a list of available providers within your district or cooperative. When you select a team member from the list, your colleague's name will be added to your personal team member list. I've added Shane. I will also add Gary. And I will add Diane, people I work with often. If you frequently work with people not included within your district list, such as county social workers, public health nurses, or staff from other collaborating programs, you may key their information into a blank team member section. Saving preserves my data and immediately puts it in alphabetical order. Now let's put my team member list to use. I am going to add team members to a notice of a team meeting for Johnny Appleseed. I scroll down to the team member section of the form. I click the person icon, which brings up a global team member list and my personal team member list at the top of the page. I'm going to add Diane to the notice of the team meeting. I'm going to add Gary. I'm going to add Hannah and I'm going to add Shane. Then I'll close the window and see that those individuals have been entered into my form. All I had to do was click them to add them to my document. And instead of having to scroll through the global team member list, my personal team member list was conveniently displayed at the top of the page. It's up to you to maintain your team member list. You must edit the contact information of team members if there are changes. You should also delete team members who are no longer assigned to your building or leave the district entirely. Say, for example, Gary has retired. I'll remove him from my team member list by saving my changes preserved. Building your team member list will take only a few minutes now, but will save you precious minutes each and every time you identify team members within a due process form.